Right, everybody. You may remember from years past that I was putting some uh, pipe work in here. I popped a little socket in there. The uh, decorator has since been. And, well, actually he lives here, but I'm not going to get into that. It's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, we've got a nice painted wall. And they've not monkeyed around with the brackets too much. I only had to tweak them a little bit. Where they've done screwed bits to paint them, but they're not painted behind them. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter because, you know, the radiator's going to be there. But, uh, yeah. So we're going to slide this fridge out. And you may remember we planned for this in advance, so it's not like a drain down and, uh, you know, shut off the heating job, which is good because it's like four degrees outside. It's absolutely freezing. It's like, you know, shooting season starts and the temperature just plummets. And we pop the radiator out. Plumbing is all about access. You know what would be really funny? If I uh, put the radiator on and we can open the fridge door. I mean, that would be a fool's errand right there. Uh, yeah. I don't remember why I didn't just put an elbow onto that and why I had to use a compression. Because the other one back there is soldered, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I remember, actually. It's because I couldn't get this part to drain. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. Yeah, the drain off, the h lowest drain off was that one on the side there. And I wanted to, like open it and I couldn't and it wouldn't drain and just nothing would work and it was a Friday or actually I think it was a Saturday and I just couldn't be asked with it I think that's why it's got the horrible DIY compression straight onto the old pipe and uh, away we go thing going on but hey don't judge me this was um at least six months ago where I was only a tenth of the plumber that I am now now I can pretty much solder underwater in the dark, blindfolded and asleep. Let's get that puppy out of there. Uh, that's an old new radiator. It's been here forever and ever. That's not how you should carry a radiator, you should always carry it so that whatever you have flapping about you is banging into the back of it and you should never put it down on its top either because it will uh, scratch the top and the customer will see it and want a new one but it's alright because this is my house and this is my radiator I can do what the hell I want but that's a top tip if you're doing this at work don't, don't fuck about with it remember these are people's property and that's why I got the dust sheet, so I can cheat and put it down on the top. Though what I'll actually do is put it down properly anyway, because that's the sort of person I am. You know, as just being educational there, doing it wrong to show you that it was wrong. And you can see, look, there's a sharpie mark where the uh, oh yeah, going to remove the uh, sharpie, the old sharpie with the new sharpie. Doesn't work as well as it did in the video. Hmm. There we go. That's how you really remove. Sharpie permanent marker, Mr. AVE. A little bit of touch up paint, and that'll be good to go. But I can do that now while it's on when it's on the wall. So, anyway, not on to the next bit. Back to the task. Back to the task at hand get some lighting on the subject 
Now I did test these by having the valves on all this time, so if a leak happened I would see it. Uh, but now I've got to be prepared for the... I have got to be prepared for the possibility that these pipes may indeed have water in them now. So we're going to use the horrible grips, the things, and we're going to just ease these caps off. And then that's two caps I can keep forever and never have a nut and olive for in uh, my kit box. So I can just throw them straight in the scrap. Now they are useful. You never have enough caps in this world. Whoa, look at this, look at this kids, this is the latest thing. You squeeze it and it adjusts itself. Except when it doesn't. Or except when you take it off and then put it back on again and it's adjusted itself too small. interesting smell. Obviously it's not filmed in 5 or 4D or whatever it is where you can smell stuff. You can smell that there's been a bit of oxidation taking place because obviously there's been nowhere for the air to go. There's been actually no water in these pipes before. But there has been a sort of funny... You see this shiny stuff in here? It's like a crystalline sort of substance. Very interesting. I don't know if we got that out and got it under the microscope would be telling us all sorts of things. Yeah, it is interesting. It's like, it's like salt in there. And what that will be is like anaerobic... It will be corrosion but without oxygen. Is that No, wait. Corrosion can only happen with oxygen, but it will be... Like there's... Like I don't know enough about it to get really interested about it, but... Basically when there's not enough oxygen for normal corrosion to take place, because copper does cor corrode, it goes green, and it will form a different substance, which is a different colour, when there's not enough air, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. And you can see, you see that little ring in there? That's where the olive's biting into it, because I've done it up properly. And that's uh, all you need to know. And there's a little bit of green on this pipe. I think we'll get our emery cloth get in here. Clean it up. I want to get hold of some Brasso, but I can't find a shop that sells any. Because I think... Polished copper pipes would look absolutely fantastic. But this is what I've got to deal with. Anyway, we'll put a bit more paste on that. The more, the merrier. Always start with the lid. And then always put the lid back on because uh, when your paste has sawdust and shit in it, it's not very good. You know? I know some people just buy the paste and throw the lid away, but it's not what I do. <coughs> Bit more lighting on the subject. You probably can't see anything very well, because one thing I've noticed about, you see, I've just picked these up and now, now look, now I've got to do that again. You know, what was I saying? Yeah, one thing I have noticed about this camera is that uh, the, when, when it's in a low light situation like this, like I can see perfectly fine because my eyes adjust the exposure, you know, they di my pupils dilate and so forth. Except I don't really have eyes, I mean of course I am a, a machine. <laughs> I am a machine that only thinks it's human. <laughs> but uh, that's what I think's happening anyway, my pupils dilate and I actually adjust to the light. This camera, it just goes all pixely and horrible and gross when, when even when it's just evening. Like I did that glove review the other night, I looked at the footage, it looks like I filmed it in bloody 144p magic video. Looks like normal. And uh, another thing I'll do, I'll unscrew this. Because uh, getting the adjustables in this li that little crevice where that's going to be, it's going to be a little bit difficult. So I'll just pop that off. That's your uh, lock shield, it's one of those ones you know, customer proof lock shield so the customers can't tamper with it. <coughs> yeah, and bloody, you know, you go through all the effort of balancing a heating system and then the customer fiddles with it. And, you know, says, oh, the rads have stopped working. I'm like, well, did you fiddle with it? I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, well, don't do that. And now this is the fun part where you got to get your head in, basically inside the radiator. I don't think I'll be able to do this first person shooter, but oh wait, I have a tool. 
So we can do it, first person shooter. I have the amazing, crappy, broken mirror. And obviously I don't have a reflection because I am a machine, vampire, undead thing. Don't, I don't know. I'm having a bit of an identity crisis. Anyway. Oh, oh, can't see because there's fucking broken glass in the way. Anyway, you can see up there it is on, and then down there, down there, yeah, that's on, look, you can see that. Well, you probably can't because your camera's at a different perspective, but I can. That is sitting in the uh, little thing. Obviously, it's got to come over to the right because the pipes have got to marry up. And then uh, this one's got a. There we go. Look at that. Look at that ladies and germs <laughs> it's like somebody made that and measured it to fit this radiator I'll just double check that it's in over here yep that's in there and then instead of trying to stick your head in that corner and you see what I mean about the tight spaces now There we go. Well, you can't see it probably, but I can see that's in. So we'll tap this down now. Make sure it's on them plastic clips, and then do these up. And uh, we'll switch the mother on. It'll be amazing. We're going to turn this up to 11. There will be no mercy. There will only be fire and death as the... Uh, Radiator raises the room and the te the temperature in the room to like a zillion degrees. Uh, where are my Stilsons? There are my Stilsons. Where's my cloth? There's my cloth. Where's my justices? There are my e just do bulls. Don't chuck stuff onto a tiled floor, always throw it onto something soft like a dust sheet. Another pro tip. Pro tip, pro gamer. Look at that. That's flop perfection, that is. Absolutely beauteous. Not the pipework down there so much, but you can't see that when the fridge is there. And if I wanted to, I could drain down the house and do it right. Get the heating on. Let's override that shit. Let's turn it up to 11. These pipes. It is actually heating up very fast. I am surprised. I'm surprised and pleased. Yeah, so if you've got the older style um, radiators, go to Tool Station and buy the quail ones, and they look the same, don't they? Apart from the bits at the end. Instead of buying, I think it's the Stirl Red. It's one of the Stirl Red ones where if you take off all the uh, sheet metal boxing, they look a bit like this. But, I mean, what's wrong with this? You could even turn it upside down if you have the type where they had the pressed metal edge at the top. You can just turn this upside down, it's exactly the same. Yeah, that is, that's bacon. That's going to warm this room up nicely. It's warm at the top, and pretty soon it'll be warm at the bottom. One last little, you know, because I know I won't sleep until I do it, check round for leaks. But like I said, I don't do leaks. There are no leaks here. There is no problem. And we can put, start putting the fridge back in. And that, everybody, is a nice little job job. <coughs> you know? You train hard, and then you fight easy. You know what would be really funny? If I uh, put the radiator on, and we couldn't open the fridge door. There we go. Now you can pull the veg drawer out, and do what you need to do. 
And anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye, and good luck in all your little jobs you got to do.